to get it. It's your boy Fist in his house. Bring another great edition of Modern Warfare 2 on YouTube for you because hey, that's what I do. So um, I think today I'm gonna uh, this. I think we got like three videos left of this, and um, today I'm gonna talk about what I did last night. Last night I went to the movies just for myself alone. Um, not including everybody else, I figured it out. It was seventeen dollars and fifty cents. That included popcorn and pop. And I went and seen Inception last night with Leonardo DiCaprio. If you don't know what that is, Google search it. If you do know what it is, if you do know what this movie is, go ahead and click off this video right now if you want to see it. Because I'm gonna spoil the fuck out of this movie. Now this is an alert. Spoiler alert. I'm gonna tell you every single thing about the movie all right so uh the movie is uh, um starring leonardo dicaprio he is an extractor an extractor is a person the concept of the movie is is that people hide away top secret information in their brains uh in their subconscious and People that have certain secrets are, are, you know, hide certain ideas and concepts in their subconscious. And then there's people like Leonardo DiCaprio who specialize in inst uh, extracting this information from people's subconscious. And what they do, they have certain, and, and what they do is in these movies is that they have certain uh, ways of of uh, extracting this by using sedatives and then they go into layers of dreams but the thing is is that it's it was developed by the military to train uh, their soldiers to kill and then kill people without dying because once you get killed in the dream you awake so it was designed by them they had to hire some architects and Leonardo DiCaprio was an architect his uh, his father-in-law was a teacher in France who was an architect and that's how he got involved in the program in the first place so him and his wife were um, extractors but then they they really got into this program um, and they wanted to see how many dreams within dreams that they can go into have you ever noticed like in your in your lifetime probably like it's happened to me like twice where you're in a dream and then you wake up and it's still a dream well the thing is, is they they try to go so many. Once you get into so many layers of dreams, because you have to put yourself to sleep, and uh, if you go too deep, you can't come out. So they went like four dreams deep, and um, and the whole point of the movie is that to be able to uh, plant an idea that you know to fool the host into believing an idea that they thought was originally theirs and that was the the uh, uh, the word what that's what the word inception means is that I'm able to um, go into your dreams go to your subconscious go to your deepest lock secrets unlock it and then implant an inception that you believe is your own creation in your subconscious so they um so Leonardo DiCaprio he wakes up and he's in he's on this beach and basically in the beginning of the movie he's already four levels deep into a dream and he's in this dream where a guy had died in the second level of a four tier dream so he had to go back and wake him up to keep his promise but then starts in the beginning of the movie and that explains that whole situation but the end of the movie you don't know if he's still in a dream because he's trying to get back to his kids in America. And um, his wife trapped him because, I mean, backtrack, his wife trapped him. Uh, the reason why he could not go back to America is because the Americans thought he killed his wife. And the reason why they thought he killed his wife because he inceptualized an inception in his wife's mind. And that was the only way that they could get out of of the dream state that they were in they were in a dream state that was four levels deep and he didn't want to be there anymore see because in his dreams you can go you can grow to be old all the way to four 50 years old and she, and she didn't want to she didn't want to leave so he inceptionalized the fact that they were living a dream and the only way was out was to kill yourself so she he put that inception into her head <clears throat> 
not realizing that at the same time, and this was the whole thing. Here is the ending of the whole situation. When he planted that inception of the spinning top, because if the spinning top, they get these little, they get these little, um, um, uh, little tools they have to know if they're dreaming or not. And if they, if they, he has a spinning top, and if the spinning top stops spinning, he knows he's not in a dream. So every time he wakes up, he don't know if he's in a dream within a dream. He spins the top. Well, in the inception that he inceptualized in his wife, he put a spinning top in her safe, and um, in doing so, I believe that he inceptualized the idea in his mind and at the end of the movie he shows a spinning top and he's in his whole quest was get back to, to get to get back to his kids so in, in reality he don't even know if life is f actually exist at all i mean you don't know if you're living a dream at all because the spinning top is still spinning at the end of the movie and it was about to weeble down but you don't know and he was finally with his kids and through the whole theme of the movie he's going through, he's like, I gotta get back to my kids, I gotta get back to my kids. So he, he inceptualized this idea, and at the same time, I think he inceptualized himself. But he, uh, he, so they go through this whole dramatics where they, they find this guy, this Japanese guy, and he, he, he finds out that he's, he is one of the people that is, um, they're trying to extract. So he flips the script on him. He finds them, and then he hires them. To says, "You want to get back to America? You know, here's how you can do it. You have to get this guy to change his idea to monopolize energy." And through this whole concept of tricking this guy, they go three levels deep. I mean, I'm explaining the whole situation to you, but to me, as far as a movie goer, uh, um, you don't get lost in this movie. You don't get lost in in the movie. It's not one of those movies where you enjoyed. It was more like, okay, I, you, <laughs> you conceptualize what's going on in the movie, so therefore you can't really enjoy it. And it was just, um, it just wasn't a fun movie. And um, it was more work less than anything. I don't know. Maybe I should go over the next review. Anyway, your boy Fist.